What? Oh, that should be your prerogative, sir. Good news. Right. <laughs> good news. <laughs> We're back with Band of Brothers, episode six. Last episode, we left off knowing that we're going into something pretty intense. Just in case, I do have some tissue readily available, but I didn't need it last episode or the episode before that, so I'm crossing my fingers that we'll be okay this episode too. All right, let's 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 just jump right into it. We were short of equipment. We didn't have enough warm clothes. Chairmans knew right where we were, oh. and they really gave us a shellacking. Fog was in, they couldn't drop us, couldn't resupply us every time oh. they tried to drop, missed us, and dropped them to the Germans. No. Even today, we go to bed, and the first thing I'll say is, I'm glad I'm not in Bastogne. Mm. This is going to be a bad one. Oh my gosh. Even for a second, I was like, not able to move. Oh, oh, oh. What if he's on your side? How is he here? Oh, is about to take a poop. That's like the worst timing. Oh, he's like a regular person. Take him back to regiment. We've been taking ground in one position, General. Losing it in another. Mm. We're taking a lot of hits and we have no aid station. Line spread so thin, the enemy wanders into our CP to use our slit trenches, sir. Couldn't find the 501st on our right flank, sir. We've got some considerable gaps in our perimeter. Hold the line, Colonel. Close the gaps. With what people? Can I scrounge your bandage from your weight kit, sir? Uh, no plasma, a couple of bandages, practically no morphine. Hook up with Doc Ryan. I'll fix you up with what he has to spare. Get everything you can. You're gonna need it. Spina. Doc, what'd you get? I got, uh, I got this. I got myself a crap bandage. This is it? Yeah. That's it. That's all you got. No first battalion's pulled out of four. If they're pulling back, then what the hell are we doing <laughs> sitting here? You got extra scissors? Uh -uh. Sergeant Garnier. Do you keep your morphine from Holland? No. You got bits and needles. Later. Um, that's not good either. <laughs> I wanted to make a joke, but I'm not gonna do it. No. Have a job, Doc? Go on. I, I need scissors. Hide your morphine, guy. <gasps> True. You got a syringe? Oh, it's the artery. I feel it. We got it. Let it go. Go. How you going back, Doc? What? I ain't going nowhere. Not this shit. You don't got no instincts. Yeah. Pinkala, scissors. I need scissors. You got scissors? What the hell, I need scissors. For <laughs> got I got hit. Pinkala. You take someone. And work your way over to the third battalion. All right? You know what we need? Bandages, plasma. You get yourself a hot meal too, huh? <sighs> I would keep the helmet on, man. I'm scared. Even after I go home, I probably would stay with a helmet for the rest of my life. The hell is their battalion? Come on. We can spare a few bandages, but that's it. Oh, they made it. Do the surgeon have plasma? No surgeon. No aid station. Nothing. Hey, yo, they smell like my armpit. At least your armpit's warm. I'll be honest, what's in these things anyway, huh? Nothing you won't eat, Malarkey. I won't eat Malarkey. Hey, hey. Dang, what if you get sick? Like. Lieutenant. Yeah. Just spare something from your eight kids, sir. I'm real short. I need cigarettes. What happens if I get hit? Here. I'll be there. Here. As I just said about getting sick. Hey, Heffron, you I'm okay? I'm sure they don't have Nightfall. <laughs> what is with the Heffron bullshit, huh? Well, uh, it's Edward, right? Only well, the goddamn nuns call me Edward. Morphine from Holland. No, you asked me already, remember? Don't recall. <laughs> you dumb. Oh, yeah, uh, morphine. Third between pointed up the contraband. The check on Joe Toy out in the OP. He's missing something. When it's too quiet like this, it makes me nervous. Oh. You guys okay? We got hot food. Can you smell it? Toy, show me your feet. You watched the goddamn line, McClung. <gasps> Where are your boots? You can move better in bare feet, Doc. What, no, what happened? No, you're gonna... I think I'm blown to hell, okay? 
Well, what's your size? It's like everybody else. Uh, my stuff. Well, what are you looking for? Scissors. Thank you, Pecani. Well, you finally so got the scissors. Elena, that you? I still got the itch. Every time I pee, it's murder. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, but make sure you move around a little. Get your blood flowing. I can't mm. feel my feet. Sergeant, I'm sorry. Look, I know it must be hell, but I, I can't help you. Drink lots of water. Water? It's pissing. That hurts. Who the hell's singing? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll find so, out, Lieutenant. I'll find out. I'll shut him up. Hmm? Hmm? Loved. It's too quiet. It's the love. <laughs> CP, easy CP. This is Takani. Uh, Sis has yeah. been hit. Oh. This game that bad ain't that bad. <gasps> ain't that bad. He has to say bedside. Oh. No, Doc saved the morphine. I can make it. I can make it. Save it. Okay. Oh, so selfless. <laughs> Oh shoot, oh shoot, that has to hurt. Just be not waiting for plans. We got no backup beyond that stone. Oh. This is it. Oh my gosh. It's just piles. Oh no, no, no. Here. Put him here. Oh. Nurse, you got plans, Mark? Wait, please. I'm looking at. What? <gasps> Oh, 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 oh. Why ain't these men evacuated? We can't evacuate. We're cut off. Come and have him, Doc. Pas encore, Dieu merci. I need more food. I need bandages. Whatever you've got. What's what's this? Uh, from the bed. What sheets? Yes. Comment vous appelez-vous? My name is Renee. I'm Jean. Where are you from? Louisiana, half Cajun. Hmm. Eugene! Oh, he got a boot! He got boots! He, he is the MVP! Chocolat! Chocolat! Pour vous! Tell you want a reconnaissance patrol. Okay. Give the boots to Joe Troy. Tell him there are nine. All right, that's it. Let's move out. Tactical columns, gentlemen. Doc, Doc. It's a combat patrol. Why don't you uh, stay back? Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on, Google. Pick it up. Hold on. Oh my gosh, alone. Oh, <gasps> he could not respond in time. We got a man down! That was right here. We gotta make him fire! We can't even get to him. <laughs> it's like in Saving Private Ryan when they were telling Vin Diesel not to move. And you know, he knows they're not coming back for him. They can't. He has to be there alone. Oh, this guy shot. I need an AG standing by the CP. I saw him. They got Julian. He's still alive. We gotta go get him, sir. No, fall back. We lost Peacock. Let's go. Move get him up. Move him up. Guys, now. Let's go. No, 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 no more, no more. No more. <laughs> Please, no more. We couldn't get to him, Captain. From like episode one to now, like the morale is just. Efron. What you doing out here? To the boot stock. Doing fine. Show me. Let me let me oh, see no. it. Oh no, I was worried about that. It's trash for a toy. It turns gangrene, you could lose it. I ain't coming off the line, Doc. Well, you gotta stay dry. Trying. Do it. I'm working on it. Chocolate. <laughs> that gesture was just that's my love language right there, so <laughs> I promised him if he got hit, I'd get his stuff and bring it to his ma. You know? I couldn't get to him. Not a fucking crotch or strip him. It's okay. It's not. Should have got to him. 
No, because then you wouldn't be here. Oh, he's sick. Hey, what do you call those people again? Those Cajun healers. You know, my grandma was a traitor's. Laid her hands on people and cured them. Your grandma did that? <laughs> you shit me. I remember she used to pray a lot. Talk to God about the pain she pulled out. Asked him to carry it away. It's kind of symbolic, too. That's what for, she did. For him, you know, he helps people and he sees the pain that he tries to help, but he, you carry that with you. I've had enough plan, doctor. Oh, it's clear, it's clear. Do they, are we finally getting something dropped off? Clothes. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Sergeant, I don't understand. It was the wrong planes. Shh. Bring us class. It's a drop. It's a drop. Come on. Oh. I was so on edge for a second. I was like, what is going on? I wish she looked at his face. Let me make it. <laughs> it's like when when Lupin's like eat some, it'll make you feel better. Your hands. Yeah, they're so bloody. You're a good nurse. I never want to treat another wounded man again. <laughs> but your touch calms people. Yeah. Nurse! Hey, it's Doc. Man, I would just be announcing myself everywhere I go. It's Doc, it's Doc, it's, it's Doc. Anybody by the the one's called me Edward. Is that right? Yeah. Edward? <laughs> you, you don't look like an Edward. <laughs> yeah. Why is everything shaking? Get Doc. Mm. It's gonna get busy, pal. What the hell? We gotta hit those things. Get ready. I know. I'm like. Hold your fire. I'm defeated. Is that who said in the beginning he saved my life? Stop! Oh, dang. There's so many of them. Oh, tank, though. Doc, we gotta get the hell out of here. Ready? All right, go! This is not good. Stop! Are we gonna pull back? Hey. Come on, Walter. Come on, Doc. I gotta get back to the line. Okay, okay. I don't like needles. Give it here. Okay, put him here. Where's his tag? What's wrong with him? He's paralyzed. He can't feel a thing. The Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Eugene? Are you... Oh, you're hey. right. I think he's finally feeling what you feel too. One for the dog. Okay. <laughs> he's out of it. What's going on? Damned if I don't like old Joe Dominguez's rancid ass beans better. <laughs> Hello, Easy Company. Say? General McAuliffe sent a message to the entire division. General McAuliffe wishes us all a Merry Christmas. We've stopped cold everything that's been thrown at us. Now, two days ago, the German commander demanded our honorable surrender. The German commander received the following reply. Nuts! <laughs> Nuts! Nuts! <laughs> Nuts! <laughs> oh, I was hoping he'd be like, yeah, we're, we're going home, or we're, we're going to go back to Paris. And now it's his turn to check up on, on Doc. 
Is it me or did he lose weight? She's finished with me. Huh? <laughs> yeah. He's, uh... <laughs> Is that why he's been, like, out of it? Just in time for Christmas. Oh, oh shit. Oh. I almost forgot. Lucky strikes means fine tobacco. Where the hell did you get those? Oh, <laughs> Fire's not a good idea. Mm -hmm. Just a couple of minutes. I mean, the Germans are celebrating. I don't think they're gonna attack. Where fairies and gnomes live. You out of your mind? Oh, we're in a dell. <laughs> I lied. I lied. Oh man, you can't be serious on Christmas Day. Put that out. Yeah. He is like. <gasps> having an existential crisis right now like what ma why 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 wait this is the town that we were going into for shelter i i was in such like random like crisis shell shock that i didn't even realize what oh no this is where the wounded are Stay out of there. Is the nurse in there? Aww. And they were hoping that he can go into town and get a hot meal and refresh, and this is not what he needed to see. Uh, oh, please tell me she escaped. I don't want to believe that she's gone. I don't want to believe that. Maybe she put it there for you to know. Uh, you walked all the way back? No, I don't know where the hell you are. I don't know if I have to so we don't even get to know okay. if the nurse made it or not? Babe, how'd you do that? I'm trying to get you up. You did that. I'll fix it up. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna choose to believe that she's alive. Call me babe. I did? Babe. <laughs> babe. <laughs> this episode was like... Now everyone kind of lost who was important to them. They broke through. Battle of the Bulge! Mm. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> oh, that was a pretty rough episode. Battle of the Bulge. Now that slightly rings a bell from like history. It went like middle school. I don't recall exactly the details, but wow. Oh, the white like background and like that snow, that feeling of like decay and emptiness and cold isolation. That was rough. And again, like it just felt like this was showing everyone kind of losing someone important to you like in the very beginning like those two seem to be like really close friends that they promised each other if one you know were to be injured they would take each other's or maybe it was just one way but take you know his belongings to his mom and he couldn't do it like he just felt like he, could, he was just there but just out of reach 
And then we had the, the guy who was telling gonorrhea, oh no, what's his name? I, um, but telling him that, you know, this was my woman and she she's done with me. So even not on, you know, necessarily battle related, but he lost her. And then in the end, we have Eugene who, you know, when he went back to town, that church had been bombed. You just never know what's gonna happen. Like that fire scene, I was like, oh, maybe this is just a random little bit of like mutual understanding that it's Christmas, they're singing on the other side. We can just relax for a bit and, and just be around the fire, be in this imaginary like place outside of here and just be. No, immediately. As I was filming, I had to do this in two parts um, just because the I ran out of space randomly in my in the drive where I'm doing the screen capture. So I had to kind of pause for a bit and then I was just like sitting in my emotions <laughs> while I was doing that. And yeah, it's just this was a rough one. When when we saw him like pull out her her headband or bent, uh, when he when he pulled out her headband to like wrap his hand, I was I was I was this close to like just unleashing it, but then I was like, no, pull it back in, pull it back in, pull it back in. And I just kept it in, but oh, at least in the end, on the twenty sixth, there was some they made some some headway and they made they were able to. You know not get rescued but get back up <laughs> so that they can like move the wounded out that's just so sad man and this was a really interesting episode where we we focused on the medics and like the 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 side not necessarily those in the forefront those that are fighting but like the people in the back who are overseeing treatment or care for those who are injured and being there for their last moments as well like it's also mentally and physically and uh, just draining and hard for them first word that comes to mind when i think of this episode i don't know if i want to go between the peeing pins and needles <laughs> <laughs> um, that or the boots. I hope his feet are okay. Like, ugh, having to massage, like, it, I hope he does not have to lose his feet. I hope he doesn't get frostbite. And, you know, when he went back to get those boots, it was just like, Aww. and the chocolate, and the chocolate too. Aww. Now Eugene will never be able to eat chocolate without, like, crying. <laughs> Jeez. On a scale of one to five tissues, well, let's see, I have one, two, three. I have four tissues here. I'm gonna say four because that's exactly how many t tissues I used for this episode. Yeah, there were moments where I could have easily, like if, if I let myself succumb to it, I could have definitely gone there, but I, I didn't, I pulled myself back. But yeah, four, four, four out of five so far. This was brutal. And then predictions. Well, now we made some headway. So I don't know. Are we gonna jump? Like, are we still gonna be in winter? Are we gonna move a little bit forward? Where are we going to be now? We're in December. We're we gonna move into spring. Are we out from like the survival mode? Now that we have like a path where you know we can get um, supplies and everything too. Are they demoralized? Are they feeling? I don't know how they're feeling. We kind of just ended this episode like with no conclusion aside from, yep, the next day things uh, got a little better after that. Full length reaction is available over on Patreon, so make sure you check it out there. And thank you to my Patreon members. We actually hit over 50, and I was like doing a little dance. <laughs> I was so over the moon. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hopefully hitting the subscribe button if you haven't. Just double check. Is it did you hit the subscribe? If not, go 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 hit it. <laughs> go and hit that button. And I hope you also hit the like button. It helps me out tremendously. 
I know right now I'm not commenting on any of the, the videos just because I, I don't want to get any more spoilers even though I feel like so far there was really nothing that could have been spoiled in this because like honestly it was just like my one main thing was like is Winter is gonna make it? I think that was the one thing I was really anxious about in the beginning and I found out he is gonna make it so maybe I can go through comments now. Ooh. I'm gonna ask my patrons like if they feel like it's unnecessary for me to like not go through comments and if they say yeah you you should be fine then i might go back and start responding to everything but if not i will definitely go over it once i'm done with the season you can always come and chat it up with us on discord we do game nights there we also have a minecraft server so you can drop by there i would respond there a lot faster than with the youtube comments because sometimes i don't even see them i notice sometimes i get comments on the youtube studio app and some on the youtube app and i wouldn't be able to see if I don't check the other so I don't know what just happened I think I lost sound ah, my days my days I'll catch you guys in the next video take care have fun stay safe see you bye